Hello everybody, Dren608 plays here. Uh, yeah, it looks like the voice and stuff is working. Um, I got this game a while back, a couple, three months ago. It was a birthday present. Uh, I wanted to try it. Um, it looks interesting. Uh, I did play MechWarrior. I will be putting in the credits. Uh, MechWarrior and Battletech. Uh, are copyrighted by Microsoft, Piana, Piranha Games. This game was developed by Hairbrain Studio, Hairbrain Schemes, and it's published on a computer here on Steam here with Paradox Interactive. Uh, I'll have all that stuff in the in the comment section of all the videos and the playlist. Um, it's a fairly old game. I mean, it's not brand new or anything. Uh, there are a bunch of extra DLCs, which I might load up and then do another series using all the all of this stuff. But I thought I'd like to try the vanilla game first and see what it is. Uh, my son plays it. One of my sons plays this fairly regularly. Um, the career is kind of like your own mercenary group or something like that, where you you know try and build your rep up and all that from the ground up from a very slow start and so on. Um, I thought I would try the campaign just so that I can get a feel for how everything works before I try anything like career. Um, they have some really neat looking graphics here. Uh, the intro was rather interesting, kind of gave you a quick history of how we got to this point. We're at like 26, the year 26 something, I think. So I'm gonna try the campaign and uh, we'll just step through this and see what's going to happen to us. So, on the campaign, I want to new campaign. Uh, let's just do a standard campaign. Default difficulty settings, you know, the Everman approach. Yeah, I'll just use just with there. Your mech warrior's morale transfers to the battlefield, allowing more use of inspiration abilities in combat. Okay. Mercenary unit Wolf's Dragoons appeared in the Inner Sphere in 3005, supporting five regiments of pristine battle mechs. Facing matters. Keep your least damage armor locations facing your enemy. Facing matters. Okay. These are all hints, I guess, for you. stuff loading here okay press escape to skip well let's let this play yeah Should I, I am Kamea of House Arano, high lady of the Oregon reach protector of Coromadir and the sword of restoration but I am not a hero no matter what the stories say a hero would have sacrificed more, compromised less. A hero would have done better. You know this, of course. You were there. My father used to tell me stories about the ancient times, about the Star League, a golden age of prosperity. Upheld by the great mech warriors of old, guardians of the innocent, protectors of the peace, I always dreamed of following in their footsteps. I was too young to see the truth of things. After all, it wasn't heroism or a noble cause that won me the throne. It was hiring a mercenary, skilled enough, perhaps ruthless enough, to carry the day, hiring you. Okay. I still don't know if you fought for honor or for the thrill of it, for belief in my cause or just in my money. But whether it was your noble heart or mercenary mind, your actions gave us hope. That makes you a hero in the eyes of history. Whether you believe it That's up to you. 
Battle attack restoration. Okay. Well, that was an interesting intro. Glad I let that play. Oh, welcome to the Iridian Reach. Small kingdom in the rimward periphery, a region of space that lies at the outskirts of the more densely colonized inner sphere. It is home to the Oregon Coalition, a federal federation organized around a parliamentary monarchy and ruled by the Arano family. For three generations under the rule of House Arano, the Oregon Coalition has remained a relatively peaceful corner of the periphery. This here, your story begins. Okay. This is my background. So, decades ago, your family came to the Reach from. Okay. The combine tend to be fierce, disciplined, and relentless fighters, no matter the odds they might face on the battlefield. Ethnically diverse as any of the vast interstellar empires, is also one of the most culturally homogeneous. Founding the Kurita, succeeding in uniting the people of the combine in a single culture, one heavily molded around medieval Japanese society, but most notably the defense of the conquered principality of Rasselhag. Russell Hag? Shaped the uniformity of Draconian society overall, this has created more cohesive populace and military. See the other great houses of the inner sphere. Okay. Free worlds. Passion and enduring fires who value justice and equality above all else. Most dramatic of the great successor states. The Free Worlds League is actually a broad coalition of many minor noble houses. Been ruled over under martial law by a captain general who, by tradition, is from House Merrick. Cultural diversity and relative independence of component regions are at once the greatest strength of the Free Worlds League and its greatest weakness. Okay. Federated Sons. More finely honed skills and better equipment than their counterparts from the other region of space. They often see themselves as righteous warriors, champions of liberty, and sometimes to a fault. Though nearly extinguished by the Draconius Combine in the First Succession War, constitutional monarchy ruled by the renowned House Davion has become arguably the most powerful of the five great successor states. Through skillful military campaigns and subtle diplomacy, House Davion has significantly increased the number of star systems under its control in the last two centuries. Okay. Lyrian. Uh, tend to be hardy, well-equipped, and well-trained, though they are also earned a reputation for not being particularly strategic thinkers on the battlefield. <laughs> Wealth is the greatest strength of the merchant princes of the Larry Commonwealth. Ty Steiner, despite a number of humiliating defeats in the first two succession wars, has bounced back thanks to the combined strength of its economy, the biggest of the five great successions, control of the inner sphere's largest functioning battle mech factories. What the Larry Commonwealth may lack in military process makes up in fraud numbers and industrial scale. Helen Confederation? Lyle? Our uh, dedicated and steadfast command is capable of holding the line and often surprising those opponents who would make the mistake of underestimating them. The most at the hands of the other successor states over the last two centuries of war, having lost nearly half the territory at once controlled the height of Star League's rule. Over time, the leadership of House Leo has transformed the Capellian Confederation into a socialist police state with a highly regulated economy. Most Capellians take great pride in their citizenship, which must be earned through service to the state. Canopus, my warriors are hell familiar. They run the gamut of skill and fighting styles, but they often favor clever and unorthodox tactics on the field. While smaller than the great successor states of the inner sphere, it's one of the major powers of the Rimward periphery. The magistry is a matriarchal society led by Medstrix. This is an elected position open to any woman, but largely controlled by House Centrella due to the family's popularity. The magistry of sports and open society shares the personal liberty of all citizens and the right to live their lives as they see fit. The Karians who hail from the Torian tend to be stubborn and aggressive. They can be quick to anger, but they are nonetheless skilled and perceptive combatants. Founded as constitutional marconi. They're house Calarian, and I guess these are all pop-ups to tell you more about each of the houses. Okay. Strongest military power. It is also one of the oldest surviving realms of human civilization, having been formed along with the cre before the creation of the Star League. Since it's enjoying extensive freedoms guaranteed by the concordant charter and take pride in defending those freedoms through compulsory service. It has a long and intestine relationship with the inner sphere, particularly with the Federated Sons. Okay. Rimward Periphery. Just characterize mech warriors in the river. They can be anything from petty thugs to ruthless technicians to skilled and honorable warriors. Nations of minor noble houses, the Rimward Periphery have long played a role in shaping humanity. Star League's downfall began in the periphery, eventually leading <laughs> to the current tattered state of these at star systems on the edge of known space. The periphery is still the galaxy's frontier. Where the great houses of the inner sphere play deadly politics, petty banded kingdoms thrive. 
And pirate bands prey on the minor noble houses trying to survive in this hostile environment. It's the river. It's the deep river. Mech warriors that hail from the deep river are rare, but even rarer is the mech warrior who will admit to such an origin. Beyond the outermost edges of the periphery lies depths of space that remain uncharted and unknown to the most of human civilizations. Little is known about these regions, but they are far from uninhabited. The deep periphery is littered with abandoned colonies and small outposts isolated from the rest of humanity. To the fall of the Star League, General Alexan Alexander Kerensky led the remnants of the Star League Defense Force into the deep periphery, disappearing from the inner sphere and from recorded history. Well, that sounds neat. Uh, boy, I almost should have done this as a live stream so I could get you guys to give me a choice here. Um, Deep Periphery sounds really interesting. Sort of coming from nowhere kind of person. Shall we just go with that? It's either that or I would go with, like, I think the Free Worlds League. Justice and equality above all else. Uh, let's go with the deep periphery. That doesn't seem to have any real fixed uh, backstory, so I can kind of make up my own, right? We'll go with the deep periphery. Next! You are of noble birth. No immigrants to the Argon Reach, your family soon established a comfortable presence in a small backwater system on the edge of the Argon space. By the time you were born, your family had become the de facto ruling nobility of the system's only inhabited planet. You were the oldest child, heir to the family's titles and ancestral battle mech, an old Blackjack BJ-1. Okay, maybe I shouldn't have come with this one. An old Blackjack BJ-1? This is not good. This is where you met Raju Mastiff Montgomery, a veteran of the Succession Wars, whom your parents hired on for a season to train you as a mech warrior. Raju was a strict but capable teacher, and you quickly became a skilled pilot under his tutors. It was an uneventful life. Okay. Until the day after your 16th birthday when? Oh, I get to choose what I, what happened to me. I was exiled. Oh, I don't know what these things are. Gunner determines a chance to hit with ranged weapon. Higher skill as an effective counter to evasion and environmental effects that hamper targeting. Tactics. Increases the effectiveness of called shot opportunities. That also reduces the penalty for indirect fire. And improves the minimum range of weaponry. Okay. The blackjack. Equipped with both long and close range engagements, a pair of AC2s is backed up by four medium lasers, lending the, the mech a powerful alpha strike while jump jets enable the blackjack to move to high ground at a moment's notice. Okay. So AC2s, those are going to be auto cannons and medium lasers. I do remember from the tabletop game that you had to worry about heat, and lasers were really good at generating that. Uh, so you get gunnery and tactics if you were exiled. Strike out on your own, you get tactics, which we were already read about, piloting, melee hit chance and base sprint distance, it all improves the threshold of stability that triggers unsteady. Okay. Family's in session is set off to find a new call your own. My family went bankrupt. His ancestors left to call your own. You set off. And slowly dwindle away until there was nothing left. Your parents, driven to despair, took their own lives. Oh, that's rude. Ah. What's going on? You set off to make a new life for yourself. Tactics, which we've read about. What's guts? Maximum health of mech warriors. It also reduces the penalty from weapon recoil. Increases the threshold of heat that triggers overheated. Okay. Died in an accident. Piloting and guts. Family was betrayed. Gunnery and guts. Oh man, I don't know what to take. Uh, boy, oh boy. So, gunnery and guts, which makes you shoot better. And they able to take damage. Piloting keeps you from being whatever unsteady is. And increases your heat. Tactics. 
called shot, reduces the penalty during direct fire, improves the minimum range, and heat. This is piloting and tactics, and if I was exiled, it's gunnery and tactics. Uh, maybe gunnery and guts. Right? This sounds like reduces penalty from weapon recoil and increases the threshold of heat. And this gives you counter invasion and environmental effects that have for targeting. All right, let's just go with family was betrayed. I don't know. Out on your own, you fell into the life of a... Heck, how the... All right, so if you're a coalition soldier, you get plus one to your gunnery. Plus to your pirate, plus one to your guts. Gladiator, plus one to gunnery. <coughs> Excuse me. Inner Sphere Mercenary, I get plus one to tactics. A freelancer, I get plus one to tactics. And a merchant guard, I get plus one to piloting. So I've got. God, what did I take before? Did I show back? I took gunnery and guts. So I want to add one of the other ones either tactics or merchant guard. What does tactics do again? Called shot. Reduces the penalty for indirect fire and improves the minimum range of weaponry. Shall we take uh, the free? Of, we'll take the tactics. I don't know. I don't know what I'm supposed to do. While running a routine patrol for a local government on the outskirts of Agrius, you were set upon by pirates and left for dead. Raju happened to be visiting the capital city and picked up your stress call. Upon rescuing you, he offered you a job in the House Arino Arano Royal Guard. So it is that you find yourself reunited with your old mentor, preparing your ancestral blackjack for guard duty on the coronation day of Lady Camilla Arano. Okay. I do master of memory once again. Well, it's nice they give you a little bit of a story. Oh, I get to make pictures! Uh, enter my call sign. Pronoun B. Must enter a character name. Uh. God, I don't know what to use. Do I enter my call sign is Dren six oh eight? I don't know how I'm going to be referred to in the game. Uh, what should I go looking as? What kind of crazy person should I look like? These people are all crazy. Uh, da -da 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 -da. This guy looks semi-serious, I guess. Let's go with that guy. That looks pretty cool. Can you customize it? Oh, you can. Okay. Question one, two, three, four, complexion, eh. that looks pretty good. I mean, you well, you can do a lot of stuff here. Tattoos. Scars. Well, I think we'll just keep that. That's fine. Um, names is what I got to do. Well, we'll go with our... Well, let's do this. 
make my call sign Fangs, and my first name Dren, and my last name 608. How's that? Let's see if this works. Gunnery 3, Pilot 2, Tactics 3, Guts 3. Okay. Uh, da 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 da. Alright, yeah, that sounds pretty good. Three threes and a two, right? So let's confirm. You must start out with twos and everything. Let's confirm that and see what happens to us. Let's go. Where are we at? I'm at 20 minutes. The High Lord Tamido Arineo 2 is dead. The organ reaches left in an uncertain crossroads. Once prospered, it is now a kingdom in decline, surrounded by powerful neighbors. Espinoza. Lord Santiago Espinoza, brother-in-law to the late High Lord, is convinced that the slow-moving Council of Founding Houses must be dissolved. His proposed directive, I can't read fast enough. However, the High Lord's heir, the noble lady, is determined to rebuild the reach without transforming it into an authoritarian state. She's an act her uncle's directive, and he has rebuked his vehement pleas to reconsider. Okay. In the session to the throne, her loyal captain of the guard, Raju Mustaf Montgomery, makes preparations to escort her safely to the coronation procession that awaits in Cordia City. Okay. That's where we're going, I guess. Right now it's 8.53 local time. Try to angle your attack to take advantage of your enemy's vulnerable armor locations. Okay. Whatever that means. Drawing from a mission is the best thing for your bottom line. Preparing for combat. Or prepping for combat, I guess. Reserve your mechs to act in a later initiative phase. This affords lighter units more flexibility in combat. Begin mission. Do I not get a tutorial? Command interface initiated. Okay. Is this... Okay, so this is how we do stuff. W A S D. Use the right mouse button or Q E to rotate. Q and E. Oh, hey, Fangs. Okay, so he's going to call me Fangs, not Dren608. Okay, I, we'll deal with that. I had the Espinoza refit yards. Rush the repairs on your blackjack. Looks like it's all in one piece, but we should run some diagnostics on it just to be sure. Standard field tests. Do you know the drill? I do. More importantly, though, I want to tell you more about the job I brought you out here to do. I do me a favor and get that battle mech moving. Let's see if there are any kinks in the actuators. Okay. Huh? Click MechWarrior's portrait, or press tab to cycle between events. So you click on this. I'll come right out and say it, kid. I wasn't completely honest with you the other day. There's going to be more to this job than escort duty. Okay. Move your mouse to the indicated point. Click once to select where you wish to move. Click again to choose which direction to face. So I want to shoot to here. And... Then I can face in every different direction. Okay. So I guess we'll just face that. And then it shows you running. There's a test dummy. Because uh, something wrong in the capital. It's been too quiet since High Lord Tamatio's funeral. I'm worried about Lady Kimi's safety during her coronation procession. Click your actuators check out. Let's conduct a weapons test. Target one of those burnout old urban mechs and open fire. Like I was saying, I can't prove anything, but my gut tells me something's off, and a warrior trusts their instincts. So if I click on that... Click fire when you're ready. Alright. Oh. Destroyed. 
shot. Your guns are in working order, at least. Uh, since she was 14 years old, she, she can be naive at times and proud, but I have no doubt that she'll be just an effective ruler. It's on us to see her safely to court as I'll rest easier once she's in the capital with your cousin, with our cousin Victoria by her side. Well, she's only been training under me for a single season, but she's already shaped herself into one of the strongest mech warriors I've ever seen. Reminds me a lot of you, the truth to be told. Anyway, we should run a check on your targeting computer. You see that drone over there? The one moving through the tree line? Put some herd on it for me. When it turns, take it out with a rear angle shot. After it's down, we'll keep moving. Camille's like a daughter to me. And her late father, High Lord Damati, was a good friend. Fire at the target in the forest. <coughs> I can't find it. <laughs> Where's the target? Is that it? Where's the target? <laughs> oh, I guess it's up higher. There it is. There's the target. <laughs> I couldn't find the target. This is bad. Okay, right click tells me stuff about it. Um, I have to click on me, that's what I had to do. And then I click on it. Okay. <coughs> so you can right click to find out what they are before you actually try to target them. That's cool. Uh, do I really want to fire everything? I guess. Worried about overheating myself. <coughs> what if I turn off? Okay, I can turn off weapons. Fire like two weapon, two lasers at it. Let's see what happens. <coughs> and now I'm supposed to fire with a rear angle shot. And let's hit him with everything just for kicks. Okay. That's cool. Enemy unit. <coughs> I don't know how familiar you are with the Oregon politics, but the Reach was badly shaken by High Lord's death. It needs a smooth transfer of power. It belongs on the Cormorant throne. Sorry about that. I had to take a drink. Uh, so we continue. And fire up your jump jets, kid. I want to see... You descend this cliff face, aim for that patch of ground there near the edge of the lake. Okay, so how do I do this? Victoria pulls no punches, but she's been a loyal companion to Kamea since they were kids. Aside from you, there's no one I'd rather have by my side in a fight. So I want Victoria on my side. Now... To execute a jump move, gaining evasive charges... Based on distance, plus two difficulty hit. This is this unit with range attacks per evasive charge. You may also use jump to initiate a death from above attack on nearby enemies. So I guess I have to click on this. To here. Let's face my boss. Okay. Oh. Enemy detected. Uh oh. Yeah, I was afraid of that. Jump jets build a lot of heat, and that was more than your engine could handle. Head on into that water. We need to get you cooled off. Okay. So now I need to walk into the water. Okay, so water will help cool you off. Plasma leak detected. Jump jet malfunction. Jump jet systems damage. System inoperable until repaired. Oh, wonderful. Oh, for the love of all the gods. This is what I was get for insisting on a rush job. Not that I had much choice. The 
the Espinosa refit yards were backlogged like you wouldn't believe. Looked like they were trying to process every single Royal Guard mech in time for the coronation. There isn't any time to get your jets replaced, so we're going to have to make do without them. Go ahead and take that mech down with a melee attack. I want to be sure nothing else is going to break down on your backjack before we take it out on the Cormont Road. Okay, mech. What mech? Is this mech? What mech am I supposed to hit? This one? Well, first off, me. That's Mastiff. Oh, it's this one. This is the target dummy. So I'm supposed to go here. So you move into it? Click the melee target rectal on the enemy or press V to cycle through melee targets. So is that the melee? Where's the melee? Oh, okay. That is the melee. Move and hit him. And go attack him. How's melee work? Engaging. <laughs> you, you headbutt it. <laughs> okay, at least that's solid. Alright, one last test. I want you to take your blackjack up to a sprint and evade my attack. Oh, I don't want to do that. Push that engine, kid. If something goes wrong today, I want to know that you're mecha maneuver. The farther you move, the more evasive charges you will gain. Such evasive charges makes you harder to hit. So if you click on this, and you're on it as fast as you can, I guess that's all the farther I can go. Sprint, I have to click on sprint to the spot. Full throttle. Minus one evasion, so I guess I used up a charge. If I actually ask the combat ready as it can be, given the circumstances, for what it's worth, I hope my suspicions turn out to be unfounded, and we end the day having a good laugh about what a paranoid old man I've become. But if not, then I'll know you'll be ready. Okay. Trying to move out. Later on, is waiting for us at the mech bay. An impressive display, Sir Raju. Of course, this mech warrior was a student of yours. I'd expect them to know their way around a cockpit. Okay, this. Okay, do we go straight into the first mission? All right, I'm going to cut this here because I'm at 33 minutes. That looks like that was the training thing, and now we're going to head to the mission. So we'll come back and return to the mission uh, in the next video because I'm afraid that we're going to get started off here. I don't know. Can I just run here? Soon to be high lady of Argon and Lady Lady Victoria on this channel. For the time being, my father has summoned me to the Picton docks. I have a fleet inspection and a tour of the family refit yards to preside over before the coronation. We hold the responsibility of a noble daughter, a fount of tedium that never runs dry. <laughs> I know the feeling, cousin. By this time tomorrow, I'll be responsible for the entire reach. Give my best to your father. I don't. And don't be late for the tourney. The gambling dens are already taking bets on how long it'll take me to cripple that customized monstrosity, you pilot. It's laughing. Bold words, cousin, but the only victory they'll be celebrating is mine. You may be ascending the throne today, but my Kaga is more than a match for the family heirloom that you call a battle mech. And in the arena, I reign supreme. We'll see, cousin. We'll see. At any rate, I will see you at the tourney ground. Sir Raju, I'm ready to go when you are overland along the Cormet Road as... As is the Arano tradition. I, Camillo, will get you there in one piece. Fangs falling behind me. And remember what I told you. Mission successful. Okay. So I guess that's the tutorial.
let you know how everything works when you got to click on this and click on that. I'm going to forget, of course. But uh, we're fading away from it, and then we hit continue. Does it take me immediately into the next mission, or does it give me a chance to? The Convention of 2412 established rules for modern combat forbidding the use of nuclear and biological weapons in orbital bombardment. Okay. So none of that shenanigans. Okay, I get to... Oh, is this a I cut? remember the Oregon Reach of old. The time of the Great Expansion. I was just a boy then. Proudly we went forth, bringing the light of our coalition to so many systems. And for what? To see our great kingdom slowly waste away? This must be your uncle. Year after year, the council deliberates while our economy falters. And the wolves bay at every door, while covetous neighbors plot against us. Well, I say, it can go no further. We are here today because if Lady Arano will not act, someone must. Uh-oh. He's I know rebel. what I'm asking of you. You will face former comrades, or even loved ones, on the battlefield. I take up arms against my own niece. But remember, today we sacrifice so that tomorrow we can return our kingdom to its proper glory, to its proper strength. Oh boy, so megalomaniac. So fall tonight, know that you did so as true heroes of the Reach. Oh, to yeah. your stations! For the Directorate! Oi. We got one of those coming. This is not good. This is not good. This is not good. I think it's going to make me start. Coronation Day, Coronation Oscars, 1322 local time. So I was at 8 o'clock in the morning, now we're at 1 o'clock in the afternoon. Okay. We've gotten somewhat along the way. 2766, of the Rimworld Republic launched a bloody revolt that destroyed the Star League. Okay. Where's the representative of democracy? The maneuverings of House Davian transformed the Federated Sons into a monarchy. So it's prepping me for combat. Looks like I'm going to have to go into the next uh, scenario right away. I'm going to see if I can do a save. And then we'll come back and do that scenario. Missiles can fire over obstacles of a friendly unit has a line of sight on the target, but that goes for the enemy too. So if they can, so one of theirs can see you, they can hit you with long range missiles and vice versa. Okay. Speed is more important than firepower on escort and rescue missions. So I got to run. And it's saying begin mission. I don't see... I don't see a way to get into a save. Alright, I'm going to cut it here, and then I will try and start it and save it next time. Um, if you like what you see, hit the thumbs up button. If you really like to see, go ahead and subscribe. Hit the notify bell. Be notified to upload videos and their scheduled streams. Uh, subscriptions obviously help build my channel. Comments help the algorithm in YouTube. So do like buttons. So any of that stuff that you can do for me, I'd really appreciate it. And we're gonna take a newbie's ride into Mech into Mech Warrior World called Battletech. This is not going to be. <laughs> I may not make it through the first mission since I have no freaking idea what I'm doing here, but we'll see. All right, all right. I'm Dren608. Until we meet again, uh, stay safe and bye bye. <laughs>